Something is wrong with reality. You felt it, haven't you? That quiet, nagging suspicion in the back of your mind. The sense that something is off. Maybe it was a moment of deja vu so intense, it made your stomach drop. Maybe you met someone who felt like a copy of another person you've known before. Same expressions, same habits, like they were running on the same script. Or maybe it was just that strange emptiness you feel when you look at life and realize everything feels fake. I'm not talking about fake smiles or fake news. I mean reality itself feels manufactured, predictable, repetitive, like a loop, like a game with pre-programmed events that are meant to happen. And if you've noticed this, congratulations, because most people never do. Most people go through life without questioning anything. They wake up, work, eat, sleep, repeat. Never once stopping to ask, why does everything feel like a machine? But you, something inside you is picking up the cracks. And if you see the cracks, that means something is watching you. Try this. Start questioning reality. Say things out loud, like, why does everything feel scripted? Why do bad things keep happening exactly when I feel like I'm figuring things out? What happens if I stop playing the game? And watch. Watch how quickly something shut you down. It won't be obvious, it will be subtle. Maybe suddenly your life gets filled with distractions, random emergencies, unnecessary stress, obligations that seem to come out of nowhere. Maybe your technology starts acting strange. Your phone freezing at the worst time. Your Wi-Fi cutting out right before you discover something important. Or maybe people around you change. They start reacting to you differently. Not with curiosity, but with discomfort. They will dismiss you, laugh at you, get angry for no reason. It's as if reality itself is trying to force you to stop thinking and stop noticing. And if you keep pushing, that's when things really, really get weird. You've heard of NPCs, right? Non-playable characters in video games. They are background people programmed to repeat the same behaviors. You can stand in front of them for hours and they will just cycle through the same three lines of dialogues. Now, tell me something. Have you ever met someone like that in real life? You ask them a deep question and they look confused. Like they don't have a programmed response. You bring up something unusual and they say the same dismissive phrases every time. You're overthinking it. That's just a coincidence. That's how life is. Almost like they can't process anything outside the script. Now maybe that sounds crazy. Maybe it sounds paranoia. But think about it. What if some people around you aren't really thinking? What if they are just following patterns, responding with preset behaviors, repeating the same reactions because that's all they are programmed to do? And what if the moment you try to break them out of the loop, the system steps in? <sighs> you ever wondered why life is so full of suffering? Not just some suffering, but constant, never-ending, back-to-back pain. Every time you solve one problem, another one appears. It's like you're just stuck in an endless series of missions, constantly forced to keep going. Finish one level, here's another. Get out of debt, here's a health problem. Find happiness, here's a tragedy. Why does it never stop? 
what if it's not supposed to? What if suffering isn't a side effect of life? Maybe it's a fuel that keeps the system running. Think about it. The world is designed to keep you distracted and exhausted. The more stressed you are, the less time you have to question anything. And the second you start feeling like you're waking up, life threw another crisis at you. Maybe it's not random. Maybe it's by design. Maybe we are not here to live. Maybe we are here to be kept busy, kept running in circles, kept too occupied to see the truth. But what's the truth? Let me ask you something dangerous. Have you ever wondered why we die? Not just in biological way, but in a game way. Every living thing dies. Everything ends. As if it's part of the design. But if life is just about survival, why is death guaranteed? Why does the system wipe you out no matter what? You can be rich, poor, strong, weak. It doesn't matter. The system always deletes your character. And here's the real question. What happens when you're gone? The world continues. Just like a game. When a player leaves, it doesn't stop. It doesn't change. It just replaces you. Like you were never here to begin with. Think about all the people who have lived before us. Billions of people, their lives, their struggles, their stories, all gone. And yet, the system continues. The game keep running. Almost like we were just temporary data. Like we were never meant to see what's behind the curtain. And the few who did, they disappeared. If you keep questioning this, if you keep digging deeper, you might notice a strange thing happens, unexplainable things. Maybe it's just paranoia, maybe it's nothing, or maybe it's the system trying to reset you. But hey, maybe none of this is real, maybe I'm just messing with you, or maybe I'm trying to warn you before it's too late. Because once you see the truth, you can't unsee it. And once the system notice you, it never let you go. Since you're still here, that means you want to know. But before I continue, let me give you one last warning. Most people don't get to this point. They stop questioning. They move on. And that's good. Because once you go too deep, the system notices you. And when that happens, things start to change. Have you ever noticed that life repeats itself? Not just for you, but for everyone. The same kinds of people, the same mistakes, the same stories, the same things playing again and again. Different actors, same script. History repeats itself. Wars, empires rising and falling, societies collapsing and rebuilding, all in predictable cycles. Even human emotions cycle the same way. Love, hate, fear, greed, hope, desire, despair. It's like reality is stuck in a loop. And the worst part, you don't even realize you're repeating the same mistakes until it's too late. But what if I told you that's the point? What if this system needs you to stay in that loop? What if it's designed to keep you running the same path over and over, never escaping? You've heard of a rat in a maze, right? What happens when the rats figure out the way out? It either escape or the maze change. Now think about your own life. How many times have you felt close to something big, like you were on the edge of breakthrough, only for everything to fall apart? 
How many times have you tried to change only to feel like something was dragging you back? Maybe that's not bad luck. Maybe that's the maze shifting. Maybe that's the system pulling you back in. Because if you ever actually got out, you would see something you were never meant to see. Throughout history, a few people have seen the pattern. And what happened to them? Some went insane, some disappeared, and some were erased. Take a look at famous figures who talked about reality not being real. Philosophers, scientists, writers. Many of them hinted that we are trapped in something bigger. And right before they revealed too much, they were silenced. Take Nikola Tesla, one of the smartest minds in history. He spoke about energy, frequency, and, and reality in a ways that sounded too advanced for his time. He died alone, broke, and forgotten. But here's the thing. After his death, the government seized all his research. Why? What was he working on that we weren't supposed to see? And what about people like Flip K. Dick, who openly said he believed we were living in a simulated world? He claimed he had seen glitches in reality. Then mysteriously, he suffered a sudden stroke and died. And let's not forget ancient civilizations that mysteriously vanished. Maybe they figured out something. Maybe they saw the exit. And maybe the system deleted them. Here's the scariest part. If this is a game, a test or a trap, what happens if you beat it? What happens if you figure it out? Does the system let you go? Or does it reset you? Think about reincarnation. Some people claim they remember past life. They have memories of being someone else. They recall events from decades, even centuries ago. Things that they, should, they shouldn't know. What if that's just a system error? What if some people manage to escape only to be thrown back in? Memories wiped, forced to start over. Think about deja vu. That strange feeling that you've been here before. Live this moment. What if you have? What if you've been repeating this life over and over? What if every time you get close to waking up, the system resets you? Erase your progress and give you a fresh start and make you forget. And what if this isn't your first time watching this video? And what if it's not my first time making it? So now you have a decision to make. You can go back to your normal life, forget about this, accept reality the way it is, pretend none of this never makes sense. Or you can keep going. You can keep questioning, keep noticing, keep looking for the cracks in the system. But if you do, just be careful. Because once you start seeing the truth, the systems start to watching you back. If weird things start to happen after this, strange coincidence, people acting different around you, technology glitching, that's not paranoia. That's the system making sure you don't go any further. Because once you see the pattern, you can't unsee it. And the closer you get to the truth, the closer you get to disappearing. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and comment. Make sure to subscribe if you want to know more. Take care of yourself.